Hello, hola y marhaba. It is me, Diego, your favorite YouTuber of all times, here presenting to you, my amazing watchers, another unboxing video. I am so happy that I have the opportunity to share this unboxing with you. And today's a special day. I will be unboxing this my Stark attachments. Yay! I'm excited to see some of these models on the table and what they will be able to do for Stark players everywhere. One thing I do have to say that I am a little sad that there is no lady in this box. And that one was for you, Preston. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making this video. Uh, also, a quick note, this video is dedicated to all my family and friends that watch and give me tips. I, I am so appreciative of your support. You have no idea. Also, a special uh, shout out to Riley and Henry, whose newfound love of models and painting has helped rekindle my love and, and passion in this uh, hobby. And I do want to make sure to appreciate that. And remember to like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you get all the notifications. Let's begin. Here we go, what everyone else is waiting for, the Stark Attachment Box. So let's begin. So I'm really excited about this box. I think this box is going to be pretty cool. Though I do have to say that I think that the Baratheon box is a little bit cooler. Uh, so first, as we do usually in my videos, I like to talk about what's new. And then we could go over what is not new. So the first thing is the Winterfell Guardian. Um, this looks like a really cool attachment that I can see helping out in a lot of lists for Cav Heavy list with your Outriders or your Tully Cavaliers. Um, their order, Stubborn Tenacity, which is an enemy engaged with this unit, suffers D3 wounds after you pass a morale check, which shouldn't be an issue for you as a Stark player, but also if you put them in with like some really good morale unit, uh, like the Tully Cavaliers, that you shouldn't have any problems with that. So this could be a great way if you charge in and then all of a sudden you just need to take them down a couple, uh, an extra peg or something like that, I can see this being very powerful. <clears throat> the next one is the Chronic Men Survivalist. This uh, gives Pathfinder, which as you can see, plus one to your movement, ignores the dangerous rough and hindering keywords for terrain. Um, also, this unit may be re-roll all retreat distance rolls. Enemies that are disengaged from this unit suffer D3 wounds and may not pivot. This might be very awesome, especially if you're in a scenario where you're playing... I don't remember which game mode it is, but where all the, the dang uh, <laughs> corpse piles are. I think this would be very good for that type of game. So for these, you get two of these. We'll be looking at the box later. The next one is the Mormont Veteran which I know a lot of people are excited for. This one just says uh, it gives it hardened each time this unit is attacked after defense dice are rolled. For each of its destroyed ranks, it automatically blocks one additional hit, which seems very cool. Again, I, I can see people using these more often. And so then we have the, the re-sculpts. Uh, you have the sworn captain which is when this unit makes an attack, or, uh, uh, makes a melee attack. After attack dice or rolls, the defender becomes vulnerable. The Warden, the Chronic Man Warden. I do like this sculpt a lot better than the, uh, the other Warden. This Warden says if this you uh, is the same thing, um, you could reroll any misses. This could be good if you put it in a tanky unit and you want to and you're still stuck in combat and then the finally the umber champion which i think they got one of the coolest re-sculpts in my opinion obviously and this is when the unit makes a melee uh, melee roll uh attack and may roll two plus attack dice and gain vicious if it does it you know 
it has to suffer D3 wounds. Uh, it's sort of like Stark Fury, I believe, in that one, but a little bit better. And then, as always, you get two of everything except the Chronic Ma uh, except the uh, Winterfell Guardian, which you only get one, unfortunately. But, you know, here you can see all the cards. Let me go put this guy over here. Boom. Okay, so with that, let's look inside what's inside the box. I'll put this away. So inside the box, <clears throat> you just adjust my camera a little bit. So as you can see, they're in their pretty cool carrying case. So the first one we're going to look at is our friend, the Winterfell Guardian. Um, look at this. This is going to be such a fun model to paint. I can't wait. Um, that's one of the reasons why I like this game so much is the horses. I know you're probably thinking, well, Diego, why didn't you pick Targaryens? Well, um, no thank you. And uh, I have, you know, my... <laughs> I do like the Starks, and I do like my Baratheons, so I'm glad now that my Baratheons finally have a cab unit that isn't, you know, flayed men, which is just neutrals. Which, you know, I still love my flayed men. They, they are still pretty cool. I still think they're one of the best-looking models, the flayed men, in this game. Um... <clears throat> So the next one is the Mormont Veteran. I don't know if you can... There you go, Mormont Veteran. Excuse. Look, and it's got its bear, because everyone knows bears are the coolest. Okay. Then the next one, I believe, is the Warden. Which I do love this, like, cloak... Thing going on over here where he's like sort of like doing the duck wing duck pose or the Batman pose if you're a lot cooler than I am. <laughs> uh, the next one is the Chronic Men Survivalist, which I think looks super. Oh, let me get that out of the way. There you go. This just looks like a super swell model. And the grass is. So, th this is going to be a really fun. Um, unit to base I can tell because of the fact that it's got all this grass this grass knoll here that can make it a little bit cooler and if you want to know how to do a quick base please watch my video on snow the snow bases tutorials that I did <clears throat> shameless plug here's the umber berserker or the whatever they're called I forgot I just umber champion I think yeah umber champion here you go Look at this guy, singing with his pelts, just looking straight up amazing. I really have to say that I think Simon out, did an outstanding job with their, with these sculpts. These are the, this is the Sworn Captain. I do love this yelling and these come at me poses that the Starks and the, uh, <laughs> the Baratheons have now. Here's the rest of the box. I didn't feel like I should show you all of the models on account that you pretty much see the same thing. So let me put this back. So yeah, so tell me what you think about these models. Are you thinking that you're going to use them? I know that some folks were disappointed in, in some of the rules for these. Um, I don't know. I actually am pretty okay with this. I do have to admit, though, that I'm actually more excited for the Baratheon box than I was for this box. Even though such things like the Winterfell Guardian and uh, <clears throat> and the Kranigman's uh, Survivalist are pretty neat and pretty awesome, I do have to admit that overall I think that the Baratheon box is a lot better. Again, in my opinion, and... You know, I am first and foremost a Starks player for the most part, but I'm slowly becoming more of a Baratheon player now that it's becoming a little bit more fleshed, fleshed out. And I really look forward to seeing what you all think on the comments. So thank you very much. And uh, may remember to like, share, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at Cobra's Finest with a Z. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.